Hello folks, it hasn't been that long since Qualcomm announced the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chipset, which is supposed to be a follow-up to the known Plus variant. Still, Qualcomm appears to be working on another flagship chipset, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, and purported specifications have emerged online on a Chinese social media network. The chipset, codenamed Kailua, will reportedly be manufactured on a 4 nanometers process by TSMC rather than Samsung. That is the same 4 nanometers process that the 8 Plus Gen 1 is made on, so we can't expect major increases in clock speeds. And oddly enough, the rumors suggest that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 will have a 4 cluster 8 CPU core layout. This unusual layout supposedly comprises a single ARM Cortex X3 core, two ARM Cortex A720 cores, two Cortex A710 cores, and three Cortex A510 cores. This will probably be the first mobile chipset to feature four different CPU cores. The current chipsets use three kinds. But if that's what it takes to deliver next-gen performance, then so be it. If you have been following ARM's announcement, the Cortex-X3 and A720 promise an up to 30% uplift in peak CPU performance compared to the X1 A78 cores and a smaller jump from the current Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. Presumably, this for performance at equal clock speeds. Aside from the old 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3 CPU core layout, another thing that's unexpected is the inclusion of 32-bit cores, namely the Cortex-X3 and Cortex-A720. The source suggests that Snapdragon may have included these cores precisely to maintain 32-bit support, which is strange given that the Android platform has been moving towards 64-bit for many years. Anyway, the Gen 2 flagship chip is set to use an Adreno 740 GPU, which doesn't tell us much unfortunately. It will use same architecture as the 730 in the current chips, but any details performance improvements will have to wait for future leaks. But you know guys, I think that phone's chips are way too powerful for what a mobile phone needs, so just make it more efficient and able to hold peak performance. Qualcomm, please improve your thermals. Another 30% of performance when the chip is throttling like mad, and 90% of people never come close to using the full power of the chip anyway, getting caught up in the pole sheet while Apple needing the fastest chip when it this point makes zero difference now. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, share this video with your friends and good luck!